right, hello everybody. Um, welcome back to Hunter Ascended. I hope you're all good. So here we are. We've got another behind the scenes. Um, we have not long since finished our episode 20 um, of our SevTech series. And this is another behind the scenes. If you're keeping up track and watching the videos, which hopefully you all are, um, you know, then you will know we are still on our way to getting the age finished and we've just sorted our distillation out and everything like that so if we go outside okay we've made that we got our power over to where we needed yeah we've got our pump getting our oil that goes into there to get us the other materials and then we've got this yeah we finished this yesterday for some reason it wouldn't let us just put water in basically so what we're gonna be doing if we're just gonna tidy this up a bit yeah we're gonna probably just make sure there's lights around here I'm not too bothered about being buildings here it's gonna at the end of the day, we've got to have things outside, no matter what. Yeah, that's the whole reason for this in the first place. So, how am I getting hunger when I'm flying? How does that work, eh? Oh, it's not. It's because I'm actually heaving. Okay, never mind. Um, right. So, yeah, we're going to be doing that. Um, and we're also, if we press L, we're going to be getting a lot of the stuff for this modularity stuff. Um you know, already for episode 21, basically. I was just gonna try and jump straight into 21, but I figured I may as well just do this as well. There's no real reason why not. So, I think I've already made, got the iron and the aluminium in here. So, if we look here, we've got lots of this stuff already made, but I know we need so much, yeah? So, I put two stacks of each, and then all I can have to do is just plop the redstone in. And once that's done, it's gonna start making this, and then when it's made, we'll start pouring it out into plates for us. Because if we click usage on this, look, you use that to make these plates. Um, you use quite a bit of it, like, look, you need the castings with this stuff to make all the other bits and bobs that we need, yeah? Um, tiny energy outputs. So basically, we just, by the looks of it, we need to make ourselves a few different bits and bobs, yeah? Um, that's going to be helpful. Speed module. Craft week. There's still, honestly, there's still so much of this game that I'm unaware of. Like, these Steve Cats I was looking at before um, in on L, and they might come into it next age, because once we get to age four, it's not all new territory for me. Um, so we're going to have to learn a bit, some bobs in between, so we can kind of get to where we need to be. Because I think some of it might come in handy and some might not. But we'll find out, guys. We'll find out. Okay? Right. Um, so... What we want, ideally, is a couple of tanks. No. No. We need to make ourselves a lot, a bit, quite a bit more bronze. Okay, so how much copper we got there? So if we do that, and then one third, which I don't really think you can get a third in tin compared to 64 copper, can you? I don't believe you can. Um, I mean, screw it, we'll just set up a half. There we go. All we'll do is we'll come over here and we'll chuck them in there like that. Just go get us some more bronze because we need it to make more hoppers and stuff like that, guys. Okay. For shift click here, we don't need unpacking or anything like that. What we want is that. We're going to turn it into gears. Alright. So now this, oh, it makes it pretty quick. So if we click that now, we've got like 200 there. And we're going to turn that plate one on. And we're just going to let it process, guys. Nice and easy. Okay. So that can be done. While that's doing, we're going to get a f You're still here? I'm sure you were there in the episode as well. Oh, to be fair, I've not really been on since, so it does make sense. Um, right. We don't need pulse or anything like that there. What are we even doing right now? I must be filling up. We need more wood, you know. We really do. Well, have we got a decent amount of it? Let's grab ourselves some more chests. I'm just going to make it like eight hoppers. Seems like a good idea. I'm not sure if we just make ten. Should we make ten? Where is. How have we got no chests? Seriously. I feel like a pauper. This is one thing, guys. With Sevtech Ages, believe it or not, right? Even though you might think, oh, we're actually doing pretty good. If we were on 
and then this is the whole point of me doing this one anyway but if we were on just like a normal modded game and I had like you know access to all the other things we'd be sitting pretty right now we'd have automatic stuff going and all that and I might end up doing one of them series just to kind of show the difference but I just at the moment I was enjoying the aspect of self tech images like I've never done industrial engineer sorry immersive engineering and stuff like that before so this is like a new mod that I'm delving into so I'm learning about that as well um, and there's got to be other things you know that I'll have to do that I'm not used to doing so it's, it's the whole point of it it's just keeping it different but we will be making another Minecraft series um, I, I think there's like MC internal or something like that in it um, some people have mentioned that to me but we'll, we're gonna see how we go with it guys and see where we want to go with it and what we can get done properly um, but it's not just gonna be a Minecraft channel it's just the first thing I wanted to do was this because I was having fun that's the point of making like we are going to be doing, you know, Call of Duty and other things like that when it's all coming out. So it should be fun. Right, so we've got 10 chests. That's all we need. Um, 20 of you. That's not enough. We need more. We need 40. 40 bronze. Do we have any over here? 11. We'll take it. We'll take it because we've got to throw four at a time anyway, so watch. We will. One, two, three, four, flop. One, two, three, four, flop. You know, I don't know if this is quicker than using my actual s the forge to do it, but it's more fun. I get to use my new machine that I made. So I'm okay with it. No, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me the fuck. Oh, wait, you make eight at a time? Sweet. Go. Go. Put that back there. Alright, we just need four more. Should be done. Come on. We should be able to make an upgraded version of these. Or maybe kind of combine it with this stuff here. We've got 27 steel right now, it's not too shabby. We better up the iron. How many iron blocks we got? Mm, got a decent amount still. So if we put that there, it should just filter into there for us. Perfect. So this is all still running perfectly fine, which is good. There's the four we need for the ninth one. Go there, please. Thank you. Um, and we're going to need 50 iron plates, and we've got enough of that, so that's good. Right. So, let us just do this. There's a bunch of hoppers made, everybody. Nice and easy. I'm only making these because I know. Um, we we'll use like instant lucky crafting, so you need it for fluid outputs there. And we also need a few of the liquid ones making tiny fluid outputs there. So for this liquid one, um, I think we only need like two, potentially. I think that should be good. So if I just grab ourselves 10 of that, jump over here. And we've got ourselves two there. Um, grab ourselves a tank or two. Probably gonna need two. And we've got to run over. I'll just let the pig walk around the house for a while. It's not harming anybody easy. Okay. So I feel like I'm trying to get the, the color coordination like down. Like I don't know if that's got a square on it for input or output. So I think that's gonna mean input though. If we go off everything else. And maybe that's going to be output there, so we could input from here or here. I'm assuming that we could set up maybe a pump. Do we have pumps yet? Screw pump, shift right to put some fuel. Uh, no, we don't really have pumps yet. But I guess it's obviously it's set up for in the future, really. What we can do though, if we come close, like so, shift click. Yeah. Um, so let's just fill this up with water. There we 
we go. Um, and then we're going to shift click pick this up because these don't retain the water or the fluid. Sorry. Um, let's go up. And all we do is we shift click that there. All right. Now is that working? It is. There we go. We get water. We've got one face, and that's going to slowly turn it into steam. Yeah. Um, and if I'm right, if we place this here. Yay, steam. Obviously, for some reason, steam... Well, I don't say for some reason. Steam goes up first and down, so that's actually got steam inside right now. Okay? Um, and if we click on this... Yeah, so it's going to turn the water slowly into steam. Yeah, you're not going to need a sh huge amount of it straight away, but we will want to get this, like, to a degree of automation. Um, maybe we can do that next time when we get maybe some pumps and we can, like, pipe stuff in. Maybe just get a pipe going into here, and then same with the stuff going out and then and water and that. We're going to have to see where we get to first with all of that. So, for now, this is our situation. That's working. We've got our steam required. Yep, it's not a big deal. Eat our food. You know, I'm kind of thinking I might have, should have gone for the uh, food thing, but it's not it's not a huge amount. That's a problem. Piggy winks. We need to keep breeding piggy winks so we can eat our food. It's actually making me look a bit forward to, you know, guys, like, um, I'm, I am enjoying this pack as well, but I can't showcase, like, all the amazing stuff of new people that much. I think when I get to the point of doing, like, another mod pack, if it's, maybe this MC external, that might have a bit more of what I want to, I can show you guys, like, full-on automation. Ender IO is an amazing mod um, that allows you to do amazing things, like, with automation and stuff like that, automatically crafting, you know. I'm on, on one of them I've had like automatically crafting like a chicken dinner um not ch chicken dinner like chicken curry and stuff like that which gives you everything and it's really good for like your food because it gives you all this stuff and there's lots to do with lots of different other mods that you guys don't realize like some people might be looking at this for the first time and go oh yeah it's cool and it is hence why I'm doing it but it it can be better it can be better I don't know about my building like that might just say similar I always seem to have a similar like, style, like fashion. I always like these stone bricks, but it's just because I've, I've I've always been used to building on vanilla Minecraft. I've only been doing modern Minecraft since I've like had a decent PC in that for like maybe six months, and that's not like I've been hardcore doing it either. It's just in my spare time, like now and again. Right, so let's just put them there like so. Okay, if we go down here, you not there. So yeah, look, we got a load of these modular pet stuff now. That's great. The presser, we're gonna have a look. Craft a redstone engine to begin powering your build craft pipes. I know, I know, I know, but I don't need to do that right now. Actually, have we got extra pipes? Like, are these just classes? There, yeah, these are the build craft ones. Okay. So, for example, we can do that, but we'd have to actually make the redstone engine to go underneath as far as I know. Um, I guess it's fine, but we don't really need that right now. We're going to use that maybe in conjunction with these other stuff. So we'll see where we get to with it, what we can do, and what we have to get done. Okay. So, what point are we at now? So we've got our steam ready, okay. This is saying using a modular machinery chemical mixer. So we need the chemical mixer for that. All right. So we're going to look at getting the bit built for it now. Okay. We're not mixer, although we do want a mixer as well. It's a good point. You know, we could make the mixer right now. Um. Oh wait, no. If I remember correctly, we need the next stage before we can do that. Some of the things are still a bit locked. So. What we need to craft really is a blueprint so we can see what we require for each one of these. So we'll get the blueprints done now. So it's just blue dye, a stick, cold coke, and hemp rope. I think that most of that's up here except for the cold coke, but we can come back down and get that. So, um, no blue dye. Give me blue dye. Come on. 
There we go. There's our blue die. Nothing crazy. Uh, a stick and hemp rope. There we go. Nice and easy, we got it. What was the last part? My brain went dumb. The cold coke, there we go. I'm getting notifications about Angry Birds for some reason. I don't know why. I don't play it. So, we got to have our blueprint. So, I need you guys to know, what you do is you can right click your blueprint. It's got to give you a kind of demonstration to how it has to be laid out, yeah? Now, it's got to go through a few different configurations. Um, you can see the configurations if you hover over this here. You can see that some of them are changing. Some of them are unfamiliar, so you can't use that setup. You can only do the ones where it says you can where you can see it like this. To stop the configuration, to see it, you can just press shift while it hovers over and it will actually stop like so. So we need one machine controller, 20 machine casing, yeah, two tiny fluid input hatches and one tiny fluid output hatch, okay, and one tiny energy input hatch, okay. So nothing too crazy. Um, we'll get the casings done in the controller. Yeah, and we're just going to basically put chests. So what we're going to do is we'll get a chest. Just for the sake of this. I don't know why. It's just just previously so we can get it done right. I think we might need three machines in total. So we'll get the three. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to put like the chest here. And then like the chest here. And then right there. Yeah. So we'll put the stuff in for that one. Then that one. Then that one because I think it's a three by three each so we should be able to fit them in like this plus we gotta be like moving the liquid from here to like here on the output and stuff so we gotta we gotta be doing it with everything in mind all right so we need 20 of these casing starters yeah we're gonna need a lot more of them so we're just gonna literally turn yeah all of these like so into that nothing special really come on 16 you can kind of see like we need like three machines guys so we do require a lot of these okay that gives us 64 but for this one we just need the 20 yeah so we'll put 20 here and go plank it in this chest for us done there's the 20 of them yeah we also need ourselves a controller we're also we're gonna need a controller for each machine just let me double check how many we're gonna need so Essentially, on this part here, propane, okay, it says using the chemical mixer will allow you to mix the naphtha, whatever, I can't pronounce that word, I apologize, um, and steam to create propellant, propane, sorry. Um, grab a bucket to then process, okay, so we need the one machine for that, but then we need this machine, yeah, the inversion of plastic, okay, using the thing, your liquid processor, convert propane into liquid plastic. That machine, and then we need another machine. Look, using a plastic motor, uh, we need to do that to turn. So yeah, it's three machines, and each machine will need a controller. So we'll just get three controllers made now. Sounds like a good plan. All right, controller. So that's going to need a plate each, a casing each. Uh, so that's going to be six redstone gears that we need. Look, we've got the redstone. So. How many plates do we got? We got lots of plates, just not this. Okay. I guess we're unpacking this. Where's the unpacking one? There we go. Plank you there. And squish. And squish. <laughs> All right. I'll let this unpack and then we're going to put it in four at a time so we get six. I hope that's enough. Should be enough. Right. So we're going to switch this over again. Get a this. That's two. Three. Click that and put them back there. Okay. 
Okay, so there's the six that we need for that. We're going to need some LV wire, which we've got, and circuit boards, which we made earlier. So that's fine. Okay. If we come here, there's the LV wire, so we need three of that. And down here, we should have circuit boards. Yep. One, two, three. Okay, then. The only thing required is this. And we should be good. Yep, machine controller. Alright guys, there's them made. So all we'll do is we'll plonk one in each. No matter what you need a controller when you're making that, so I know I've done the right thing there. It's not an issue. So we now have our controller, yeah, and our casings. So we need two tiny fluid input hatch, one tiny fluid output, and an energy input. Okay, so for each one we're going to need an energy input, so we can very easily set up three, because they obviously need an energy input for each one of them. So we're going to make three of them, yeah, we'll make three of them now. What's the actual mod code? That's mod, okay, so if we just go, there we are, here's all our little bits. So, we require energy input, yeah, which we need three of. So that's easy, and I think we might have some, we might have three of them ready already, let's go check. Oh, two. Gimme. Let's go make this, look we have an empire. Made a few of them now, so. Two, three, four. Thank you. Yeah, redstone ally there, we, we didn't pick up two of them, and we were going to make them now, there we go. That's that part done, guys. Nothing too crazy. We are, by the looks of it, in need of a bit more of this stuff, which is fine. Because what we do is we go flop, combine these together like so. Yeah, there we are. Nice and easy. We can make a decent amount now. So what we do is we split it up. Sorted. 64 of it. Done. Um, with that and then it's just a modular plate so yeah that's it now so what we can do is we can just make ourselves three of these because each one of them is going to require an input hatch for the actual power all right there we go power power and power it's just making it a lot easier i don't want to be doing this on the episode you know on the next episode, I want to basically be able to get to that age, and by doing this, it's going to let us do it. So that's the kind of thinking behind the whole process, guys. Right. So. What we can do is we can just have a quick look at this again. It says I'm familiar. Come on, change. There we are. So, uh, we still need... One tiny fluid output hatch and two tiny fluid input hatches. Okay, so nothing too special. Let's get the input ones done. Okay. So, what we shall do. What am I doing? You know when you click the wrong button all the time? I do that quite often. So fluid ones okay fluid input hatch which we need two of okay so that requires the modular a hopper I knew we needed one of the hopper for some reason a metal barrel which is a lot of the sheet stuff which we've got quite a bit of anyway right so if we just grab these sheets nice and easy make ourselves a couple of these yep done that's six we only needed four for this process for now and the two hoppers which we've got upstairs one two for now and we can click this and yeah we can craft it sorted uh, we also need a fluid output hatch which is a bit more simplistic we're just going to require ourselves a bucket and another hopper so let's grab this stuff like so 
the other fair bucket. Might have to create one. That's done now anyway, yeah? Good. That's what we can do. We'll make a couple buckets because I know we need a couple of these fluid output hatches. Um, oh yeah, we got those. Should we just make... Yeah, should we just let that burn and just go... Yeah, I think we should. We'll do that like that. Okay. So, there's our fluid hatches. Okay, nice and easy. Again, our power's going to be running across this way to make it work properly for us. Come on. Where are things melt free? I just need one bucket for now. Just so I can continue on the journey. Oh, god damn it. <sighs> there we go, we're making a bucket. Gimme, 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 gimme. Thank you. Right. And we can make our fluid output hatch just like so. Yeah. So that guys is all the components needed, I believe, to get that machine up and running. Alright, so what we're going to do is we'll just leave that there for when we're doing the actual video. Okay, so the next part, so that's for this here, then the next thing we're going to actually need yeah, is uh, a liquid processor. Okay, um, liquid processor, there we are. So to get that we need a bucket of water which we've got, paper and another blue dye. Right, it's blue dye doesn't it? Although it is blue so I guess that makes sense. Oh well, never mind. Um, I honestly could have sworn we had blue dye somewhere. I think I might have left it downstairs actually, in the next to the engineer stuff. But it's not too difficult to get. There we go. Done. And one piece of paper. So we do this. Liquid processor plus. And there we go, guys. We've got that one built. Chemical mixer, industrial loom, drying unit, things like that. All right. So, if they all keep coming through the house, I'm not happy with this. Alright. So, this is the same thing, guys. It's going to be a very similar layout, except it's got a hollow floor in this in this case, yeah? Um, it's not too crazy. I think it's going to be input hatch, and that's the energy. So, yeah, you can just kind of put these next to... You'll have to see Hannah, how we do it, actually. Hello, Flame. You Okay. You'll be happy I got a Discord set up now. So it's going to be linked in the videos and everything. I'll post it in a minute for you if you want to join for when I'm on it. We're just getting a few things ready for episode 21 at the moment. So if we check on this like we did with the other ones, yeah. Again, we need 20 machine casings, yeah. So it's not too bad. So we click this. Just got to leave 20 of them there. I think that's one input and one output as well. And then that's actually it for this one. It's not too difficult. Let's just check. Yeah, so one tiny fluid input hatch and one output hatch. So nothing crazy there. You got tiny energy input, yeah. So we've got everything we just need to make ourselves another two of them. So we're gonna need some hoppers and we've got the barrels to already make the input one. Nice and easy. So we'll grab ourselves two hoppers. Run down the stairs. Uh wait a minute, did we need a redstone for this one? Tire fluid in no we don't. Great. Let's make that. And then fluid output is just like this, yeah? Okay. So that's that machine ready to be built there. That one ready to be built there. Now we're going to get the one that actually makes the plastic, which is going to go here. And then we'll output that. Okay. So we'll get it all ready. Oh, wait. Since we've got that done, let's put the blueprint in there for when we're actually showcasing it. If you guys can just give me one minute, I don't know if this is still saved. That is there. Okay. Alright. Yeah, 
so anyone following on Twitch, uh, just put the Discord thing so you can join that. Um, I'm not joining that at the moment simply because I ain't putting my earphones in because my ear's killing me. But when, when I'm doing, after episode 21, I'm going to be doing more um, behind the scenes and stuff. So I will be actually joining it then properly and then we can chat and stuff like that if you feel like it. But I'll have to run it through my phone, it's just not properly set up yet. Okay. I still gotta set up like an Instagram and maybe Twitter, twi Twitter as well. Um, you know, so I can start like posting when I'm actually like doing the episodes or when I'm starting new content and that. Um, so I've gotta kind of build up, you know, my social media presence a bit better for now. I mean, Twitch, tw you know, uh, Twitch is working okay. I've got a couple followers from that and a few people like uh, Flame and MC Craft and that have gone over to YouTube and like and, and following and stuff, which is great. But it's, you know, I need to put in the work if I want to actually start growing the channel properly. And I need it to be growing because I need more input from people. I need to know what I, you know, what other people are interested in as well. So that's that machine done. The last piece we need, guys, is going to be this one. Liquid processor, which we just made. So uh, we need the plastic molder. Yeah, which is... Where are you? Plastic molder. There. So to make that blue dye again, two paper. Nice and easy, alright? Let's run up here. We've got two paper. That's free. Dab it. There we go. And spinny on the grindstone. Nothing too crazy. And just like that, we've got our blueprint for this. I think this one's a bit more simple. Um, except for it needs an actual output hatch, like it's smaller. That's one thing for sure. So we need 14 casings for that. Yeah? So let's just go put them over there. Okay, so there's our 14 casings. We've already got two of the bits we need. Um, let's see. Are you not going to give me... See, one of them says unfamiliar, so we've got a tiny fluid input hatch that we definitely need. Yeah? And then we need to use a tiny fluid out, like small out item output because that's going to give us the actual plastic outside of it. All right. So we just need a fluid input and then an item output. All right. So again, for the fluid input, we're going to need this. I have to make a bit more of that. Not too difficult. Just like so. What am I doing? It's this. Thank you. There's them two done. We just need ourselves a hopper. Do we need a hopper for an item output? Small item output. Yeah, we do. So we'll grab them while we're up there. We're making bits, guys. We're actually moving forward properly, so that's good. We get ourselves an upper. We'll come back down. I always feel like I'm playing limbo with that wire, honestly. <laughs> um, there's a small item output. Pretty simplistic. And then we need our... Uh, fluid input hatch which is here okay so guys that is all of our free machines ready now for episode 21 so we can get on there make that and we should be able to get through to the next stage quite simple really with that now um We've got quite still a few bits like to discover in that with this. Um, like I said, though, we will do an episode maybe down the line where we come back and do stuff. This here, we've done all of this pretty much except from that. We just need to actually make this here. Craft an off prospector. Should we just craft one? Now, just so we got it done. There we are. Our prospector. What do we need? Lapis, redstone, and glass. Well, that's easy. There's the glass. And redstone and lapis are upstairs. See, this is why I'm enjoying doing these like behind the scenes and that because it means I can still record and show you guys how to build stuff, but it's just not the mainstream stuff. So if you guys are ever wondering, you know, it just means you got to watch the other video. See, it's tricky, isn't it? Smart. 
Tres. <laughs> okay, there's our Oracle Spectrum. It just gave us all the others because we've done them, like I said. So we can just do this. Um, I'm just going to check something quickly. Open that. Right, okay. No problem. So as you can see, we've got all of them bits done. We've already made the excavation and stuff like that quite a while ago. Never tools, we don't need them. They're rubbish. What's this about? Further processed diesel in the distillation tower will create kerosene, gasoline and lubricant. You will need one bucket of each to complete the advancement. These liquids will provide sources of fuel, speed up certain machines or allow further processing. Alright, I guess that's something we might have to do for the next stage. When it gets into rockets and stuff like that. Oh, I'm excited to go to the moon. I've never been. I've been playing my modern Minecraft for a little bit, like I said, and I've played a few mod packs where the ability to go to the moon has been there, and I never really bothered. I don't know why. It, it never, never came around. But obviously, we ain't avoiding it this time. We've got to get it done. Simple. Okay. Like I say, like Steve's uh, craft. Steve's cats and stuff. I'm not 100% what this is all about. I will have to look into it most likely. So if it comes to that, we'll probably end up having a behind the scenes where we cover that stuff as well. Um, but yeah, that's all basically set up. Now we should just be able to get the episode 21 done and process with that. But we've got a few things we want to clean up here. It's probably just going to be about an hour, to be honest with you guys. It's not going to be a huge one. I wasn't planning on it. Um, so we're still processing our steel. Everything's going great with that. I bet we've got a decent amount of slag behind here now, right? Yeah, there we go. So we need to build another one of these. Alright, so we're just going to need 27 coal. Oops, so we just put coke. There we are. Reinforced coke brick. I didn't know you could make a an upgraded version. I did not know that. Let's see. Let's check what's going on with that. Um, Simple machines? Maybe. Coke oven. It's the first important machine you will need to craft. Um, doesn't say anything about making an improved version, does it? Coke oven advanced. Oh, here we go. What? See, they didn't have this in the last one that I was doing either. That looks like it's expensive, doesn't it? Hmm. <laughs> right. Hello, Flame. I'm eventually going to have to get two screens so I can have like multiple things up at once so the video doesn't just kind of get stuck in one place. I really didn't know we could make this um, coke oven though. It's fast now. Is it going to be big though? That's the question. Like I don't know if I want it to be huge. Like it doesn't show me. I might have to build it in the middle of this. Um, yeah, we're going to. We're going to do it guys. We'll make it happen, alright? Oh wait, beforehand, let me chuck this stuff away that I don't need on me so I don't get stuff mixed up maybe I have to what flame do that pick it up sorted Yeah, I'm thinking it's probably going to be a similar size to this. Because obviously it's the same block set up, so I think it's going to be a similar size to this, and we'll have it in the middle of this place. It'll be fine. Makes it more aesthetic. We were going to do a double, but I didn't realise there was an upgraded version on this. So that's okay. Um, we're going to grab these, put them over here. Okay. We'll see what we get to do. So, um, we need... Is 18 of these upgraded versions, so let's get 18 of them sorted. Uh, we should have steel plates, right? Yeah, we got enough steel plates, good. Where is it? 
Don't make too many, there's no need. There's 18 made. Grab it. Place it around here. So we want it here, right? So one, two, like so. Yeah, come on, be good mouse. Don't mess up. There we are. That's that placed. And according to the picture, it looks like... Is that sheet steel? Yes, steel sheet metal at the back and a hopper on top. Okay. Pretty expensive, you know. And it's nine, so we can actually do it not too shabby like so. I think you get four for each one, so if we just do this, we'll get the right amount. There we go. Look at that. Thank God we have that extra one, eh? Let's go to the back and place the sheet metal. Go grab ourselves a spare hopper. Do 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 do. All right. There's the hopper got. Middle. Now we just need our ha hammer. Stop it, electricity. Okay, and beep. Yes, so it does work the similar. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, this must be an updated version. Like I say, I've, I've played on an older version, so it's a lot of this stuff is quite new actually. Um, although I am happy with it. So I'm assuming it's going to be very similar, as in like, it's going to pump out the liquid, let's see, automation in and out. It can also be fitted with preheated to speed up the process by addition of the hot air, yeah. The furnace is made, blah, 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 blah. You're not going to tell us where the in and out goes. On each side. Right. Um... Oh, coke oven preheater seems different. So we need four of these. Alright. That's okay. Not too crazy. Um, I say that. I did just have a load of wire. There we go. I was going to say. Don't lie to me. I know I had it. So we've got some sheet metal sorted. Um, we just need... So we need what four it is, so one for each. We need to make four of them coils. So one, two, three, four. We shall click that. Just do that as a bit of a spin around. And there's four made. Okay. Um, for the actual component, we need some copper and iron and that too. So let me click this, put everything back we don't need. We really have all this rubbish on us. I ain't happy with that. Well, I say rubbish, it's not actually rubbish right now. Let's just put that up there for when we need it in a minute or two, potentially. Um, okay, so that's that component done. We're going to need some of this, some of this. Are we actually short on... Get me ten of them. We're just going to unpack some of this because I think we're going to need a bit more crazy we'll do that and um, we need some redstone for definite so let's go grab that while we're here do, 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 do. yeah I think six will do bloop, bloop, bloop. oh wait do we have to unpack some copper too looks like we do plonk that there this is great it just works while we're doing other stuff it's wonderful um, so we should be finished with iron now, move on to copper, thank you. Right, so all that's set up, we're just going to get this done so it's done. Then we'll just kind of neaten up the wall so it looks like everything else. Run over here, grab that, that'll do for now hopefully. So, yeah, because we need six of these in total. Wait, I said we need six and we only made four. Why am I being silly? No, we don't need six in total. What are we talking about? We only need four. Yeah, two for me. I can only fit two. Never mind. I am being silly. Don't worry about it. 
Okay, so we can make these preheaters. Two of. Perfect. And we're just going to go attach these to the side, I imagine. Just like so. Boom. Perfect. Uh, we're going to plonk that all here because we don't want it on us right now. We'll put that upstairs with the tools, most likely. Engineer's hammer goes there. tool you got there with the others nice and easy does it we're gonna click that we'll put this stuff away in a moment we I hope we've got enough hop damn it have we really used all the hoppers we have we need more hoppers gotta hate that right you gotta hate it um, so we're gonna need more hoppers because we've got an input from the top like this so we've got to do the same, same setup there okay which requires so that would just go straight into a chest now if I wanted to if I had pipe systems I'd kind of mix it all up but we don't really need to all have it oh wait will the fluid cut where would the fluid go out guys the back must do right yeah has to and the coal will come out the front the coal coke yeah okay we'll Ooh. If we put our power like here, we might have to stretch that there and then bring it on, put it in the middle. We didn't plan on having power at the back. We'll, we'll get it sorted. Let's go grab these bits first. I want to kind of make the round around it a bit looking a bit better. Okay. We're also going to need some of these, uh, at least two. One of them. Okay, guys. That's easy. Um. So we just want a stack of that and we should have some smooth, there we go, nice and easy. Let's go make it look pretty again, ouch. So, give me this, plunk, 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 I can't reach it, yeah I can, sorted, grab ourselves some smooth basalt make our floor look pretty again there we go okay now we just need to make the walls look a little bit better break that break that da -da 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 -da. And there we go, guys. Looks ah, of course I missed the one little bit. There we go. Now it's done. So, what we want is to come up here. Place this here. We're going to need a chest there. And we need to make ourselves a harper. Alright. Now, we should have a bit of bronze there. Great. Grab these, switch them out. Metal press. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. There we go, we'll just make that for now. Seems like a good number. Okay. This will get us the hopper that we need. To turn it into an upper. The reason for that is we're going to do this like so, and then we just need another chest there. Meow. Do, 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 do. Chest. Just a basic. Wait, do we want a chest there? No, we don't. We want the draw. We can put the draw. What am I doing? See, I'm being silly again, guys. We've got this draw here, that's what we were using for this. Oh wow, that's got a lot. Oh well, I guess we're doing it. Watch. Bunk. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to be here. We're going to put the jar there and then put all that back in. And yeah, it's working like it should. Get rid of this one because we don't need it. Just put the coal in here. So, that's going to fill the coal into there. We've got the coal coke, it's gone nowhere to go, and the oil's got nowhere to go. 
But, if I'm not mistaken, if I put this trash one there, that should start. Yep, so that's going to straight up destroy it, or I can put tanks there if I need to, to get, gather it, so that's good. And then we just need, should we put a draw there? Probably not, we don't really have one there, do we? I guess we could always go make one. There's nothing against it. Oh, wait a minute. You should not be up there. You're fine, you can stay kind of there and there. I'm not really bothered about them. Okay, eat a bit of food. Hmm. See, we've got a 4 1, but we don't want a 4 1, do we? We just need a basic. I kind of want to draw just so we can see it all the time. Plus, it does start more as well. Um, there we go. Just one chest and sticks. So, chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Doo -doo -doo -doo. go we got one of them um, we do this setup I believe which is that that and that and we got ourselves a frame draw so now if we put this here boop look we get our cold coat going straight into there so this is obviously still doing at normal speed right now this isn't upgraded Want to become famous by followers, primes, and views on bigfollowers.com. Why would you buy them? <laughs> That's sad. I'm sorry, but it makes no sense. Why would you ever pay for people? I wouldn't want to do that if I even... It makes no sense. I don't get people that do that. I'm not going to lie. It's like you don't pay to be famous or anything like that. If you, if you, you can't do it off your content, then you're never going to succeed no matter what. It doesn't make any difference. But thank you for the offer anyway. Uh, what is that? Wingy? I can't pronounce your name. Sorry. Definitely can't. Flame, tell him to stop. Right. Um, okay. So, what we need to do is just kind of move power to here now. Um, we could... Do we, do we, should we set up another relay here potentially and then go down from there? What do you reckon? Have we got an extra? What we got a wall now? We're gonna need two of these. We're gonna need free wire. Uh, do we got relays? Relays, 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 relays. Oh come on. Okay. That's okay. The relays are not too difficult to make anyway. They're just two copper, I believe. It's a bot. So what, someone just programs it and goes into people's channels and just sends it, I take it then. Must be. That's some dodgy stuff, that though, isn't it? Alright then. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here, we're going to plunk that there, pop that there, um, that, that worked, I didn't really want to put that there, but that's fine. <gasps> oh, I'm just trying the base. There we go. Right, so if we grab this wire from here, say so go there, and then you to go there, and then from here, minute we need to put these down okay and from here to there and from there to there and we got the preheaters working guys how much quicker does that do it I, could, I can't really tell if it is or not I don't know if these are active I mean it doesn't stay full so they must be doing something right yeah has to be doing something Oh, actually, no, yeah, it's doing a bit quicker than normal. That's okay. So, we've got a nice setup properly going now. Um, all of you. I don't want them bottles, they can go away. 
All right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna plunk that stuff right there. Oh, we've got loads of freaking bottles there. I didn't even realise. Pick this stuff up. I'm gonna leave it next to the trash, so we can just switch them out whenever we really want to. And we'll leave that there for when we get enough cold coke to actually make another 64 block. All right, that's, that's all good, good going. We got some upgrades set in place, so that's good. Honestly, didn't know we actually could upgrade the coal cut oven. So that's ready for the episode 21, guys. Um, yeah, so by the looks of it, what we're going to end up doing is we'll get onto that next episode, and then we're going to have so much more to do behind the scenes. One thing I'm looking forward to are freaking hopping bonsai trees. We can get them sorted and automatically get wood and stuff. It's going to be great. Um, and that will obviously be done behind the scenes as well. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, I'm probably next going to, like I say, be up live and everything and be doing episode 21 next. Okay, so hopefully you guys will look forward to that. But, you know, just remember to like, follow and subscribe and everything. Check out my YouTube if you're on Twitch. If you're on YouTube, check out my Twitch. All right, if you want to actually, contact, you know, sit here live when we're doing everything. Um, and yeah, thanks for joining me in on that one flame. Uh, hope to see you next time when I'm doing that next episode. And until then, everybody stay well. Bye.